What are we gonna do? We're gonna vlog. What are we gonna vlog then? Everything. What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. It's the first ever episode, I'm so fucking excited. We're in the Bahamas, it's crazy. My family's here, my kids, my friends are here and also we're gonna play some poker. It's the highest stakes tournament. I haven't played in a long time and I can't wait to get my feet wet again. I'm gonna play the 10K main, hopefully once. Then I'm gonna play the 3K mystery bounty, the 10K mystery bounty, the 25K PSPC. And I'm gonna show you guys everything and I'm gonna talk about all of my key hands. I can't wait to show you. All right, cool, Thank thanks. Yeah. All right, let's go. Main event time. Hey, good luck, yeah. Thanks, you too. Okay, so I've been playing for a few hours. Nothing has really gone my way. Most flops I missed. Every time I called a raise, I had to fold on the flop. Every time I bet, I got called or got raised. But shit happens, it's a tournament. This is just the way it is. We just have to move on and play with our new stack. I have ace do suited on a button and I make it 800 and blind level 300. Small blind calls. Now, this is pretty good news. He made a pretty debatable play against me earlier and I really think it's time to make some money. On top of that, he's wearing a white t-shirt and I'm not sure if he's a tourist or he's just a mid-stakes player that tried out the trip to the Bahamas. It's a good situation to put some pressure and I think this guy is gonna play pretty linearly against me. He's gonna raise his good hands before the flop and he's gonna call his weaker ones. The flop is queen queen nine with a flush draw. There's two diamonds on board. Unfortunately, I have clubs, but I think there's still possibilities in this hand. If I bet and I make a hand like ace eight fold, it's still great news for me. I don't even have to bet big. That's why I bet 500 in a pot of 2200. They call and the turn is the king of spades. Not a problem. The king is really good for me. I have a lot more king jack and king 10 than he does. I have ace king, I have kings, you name it. On top of that, I can put maximum pressure on a pair of nines now, or even a pair of fives that they just called before the flop. I decide to bet a little bit bigger and I go 2300 now in a pot of 3300. He calls. The river is the deuce of hearts. It doesn't seem to change things, but it's actually a really good card for me. I now beat better ace highs, like ace jack or ace 10, and I beat ace high flush draws. I think it's a great card to check. But it's so tempting to put pressure, especially seeing that I'm playing against white t-shirt guy. I think there's a little bit of a trap of my past where I really felt like I could make everyone fold all the time. I decided to bet really hefty. I bet 5,500 and I really think that I'm gonna convince him to fold a hand like Jack-9 or 10-9 or even a hand like King-10. I think online I'll check because people will be able to find their calls a little bit better against me and on life I can put a lot more pressure. He thinks for a while and he calls me with Jack-10. He had jacked an offsuit and he turned it straight. Obviously he's not going anywhere. I don't know if I like my bet against a grinder or a high stakes pro, uh, but I think against white t-shirt guy, I could have gotten away with it. Better luck next time. It's the same blind level, it's 100, 300, and a new player joined the table. Diego Ventura, D Ventura Online, absolute beast. He's sitting to my direct left and I really think that we're gonna clash and this hand might be the one. I have king nine suited in the small blind and the whole table folded. I call the small blind expecting a lot of raises, so he does. He makes it a thousand. I call with my king nine to see a flop. The flop is king queen jack rainbow. It's a really good flop for me. I make top pair and it's unlikely I have a really strong hand so I can, I can expect a lot of bluffs. I check and he bets 500, pretty small. I don't think there's anything to do but call here, so I do. The turn is a deuce, perfect. I check, hoping that he bets again, trying to bluff me off an ace high or a jack. He checks though. The river's a 10. This is really good for me. I make a straight. Now, you might think that it's a bad straight because I have a nine and not an ace, but I don't have a lot of aces in my range. Most of my aces I would have gone all in with pre-flop. If I have offsuit hands, suited aces, all of them are either raises or all-ins after he makes his raise. This means that I can expect a lot of bluffs. He knows that I don't have a lot of aces. I'm just waiting to set the trap and I check. He bets 2100. I instantly call, thinking that I'm gonna have the best hand most of the time. He has ace eight offsuit though, and I lose the pot. Absolute bummer. I lose a very unexpected hand and now I'm short. I'm gonna have to be in push fold mode. If I see a good hand, I'm gonna have to be all in, but that might be it. All right, cool. <laughs> nice hand. Good game, man. Good game. All right, bye. GG. Uh, it, was, it was really fun to play again, but I just, I don't know. It, was, it wasn't the best day in terms of like situations. There, you know, one of the hands I talked about I wasn't too happy with, um, with the decision, but I think overall I played pretty well, but it's just one of those days where you feel like you have no 
you have no influence on what happens, you know, like your chips just go down, down, you call, you fold the flop, you call, you fold the flop, you bet, they raise, you fold. It's just like, it's kind of like bleeding chips and in the end, just lost standard flip with the, the ace queen versus eights. Um, if I actually win that one, then I'm uh, actually looking okay again, but yeah, sucks. But it was really fun to play again, I have to say that. Like it was, like, I don't know, just having another crack at live poker. Uh, was fun and it was fun to sort of apply the strategies that I learn online now so a little mixed feeling the nice thing now is that I also have family here but you know it's a little mixed feeling poker wise how are you good you out yeah oh nice so we're both we're both sad losers you too? yeah okay of course yeah what are you gonna play uh, I don't know. I thought about uh, maybe re-entering the main, but uh, wife and kids are here also, so I think that I'm just gonna take chill time and then tomorrow play. Nice, yes, yeah. I, I'm gonna play tomorrow too. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna play uh, any 25Ks? Any gangsta? Uh, no, only the PSPC. Yeah, any gangsta I'm, I'm shit. I'm not in, the, in that level. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I think you have a good style for it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, when I say like, I really think you play like a gangster. Yeah? So yeah, yeah. I only watch people play poker. Yeah, yeah. Try to understand what they do, but I know to play higher, I have to study and be more professional. You know? Yeah, but you know what the thing is? Like a lot of people think that when they play higher and when they have less experience, yeah. a lot of people take a step back. Your instinct is to play very aggressive, yeah. and you cannot teach somebody to have an aggressive instinct. So if you start with that instinct, then you're already very far ahead of okay. people that are starting. So Thank like, you. don't lose that. Thank you so much. Because it's really no, no. tough to play, you know? Yeah, yeah. we can yeah. do something. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good luck. All right, see you, Papa. Bye. You give a lot of life advice. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very famous Argentinian rapper, and I love the way he plays. Like, when you play him, he just fucking goes, and he blasts off, and... I just really like people like that entering the poker scene because he's always so like he's tweeting about poker he's I mean this is like in South America he's like super famous so for somebody to be that appreciative of poker and love it so much and have the passion that he does and think about it and still play super aggressive it's just amazing to see right so if if people like that like poker like that I don't know I think it's really good for poker but it's also really nice to see the enthusiasm you know so you're also going into rap <laughs> no, no battle <laughs> rapping for me. No. Fuck, maybe I'll write a rap about Sprangy one day, but no. No, fuck that. No, I don't want to be in here. No? Why? Why? Why are you gotta what be so mean? mean? Are you... Am I the greatest satellite player of all time or what? No. Second ticket? Two for two. Two for two. You are pretty good at satellites, I will say that. Not at this format though. This one's even better format. You just race to 100k. Oh, 10K I like that. 10k to 100. Yeah, it's incredible. It's better for live too, because then you don't have to scope out short stacks. So much better. Yeah. There's no stalling. It's yeah. way less collusion. It's so much fucking better. You can wow. be done the satellite in two hours, which I just did. It was like two hours and 20 minutes or something. Just like that, huh? Yeah, so nice. Five thousand dollars an hour. Yeah. Incredible. What a player. Can I retroactively still swap two percent for the main? No. But you can buy in again and we can swap. I will do tomorrow. Okay, there you go. So yeah. we book uh, 2%. Uh, let's do, uh, I, like, I like day two bookings. Okay. Yeah. Oh, day two bookings. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because sure. then if you make day two, you can just book it. Yeah, otherwise... but what if you don't have the same stack? Yeah, we can, I don't know. Like, we can, you can, you know. You can do a little bit of this. Whatever, thing. dude. I get it. You're no, no. the best. You don't want to no, no. lose any. You want to keep 100%. It's just a lot of, no, it's just a lot of accounting. Yeah, that's why you do 100k plus. And then I 100k I, plus cash, so there's no account. Yeah, but then I oh, then, you then we do then we do fucking flips and it lasts longer in London, and I'm sorting out all kinds of shit for you in Heckland, paying people 200 euros. <laughs> and now you guys are not paying me back. Oh shit! Do I owe you money? <laughs> I owe you a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you can re-enter twice in one day. Two bullets per flight. And yeah. You can buy in on day two as well, so six bullets if you want. What? Yeah, you can buy in for two levels on day two. Same as this one kid. Don't tease me with the six bullets. <laughs> that's yeah, a nice, yeah, that's I mean, a good story for the vlog. Yeah, I, like, I mean, you gotta get, I mean, six it, bullets you Andy. have to play again then. Yeah, yeah, but now it's like, now play it's it. like five. Yeah. So go have family time and come back in two hours and play for two more levels, for two hours. That looks nice. If you wanted to, I'm saying. Three Bahama Mamas deep? Yeah, I mean, I'm too deep already. Really? Yeah. That drink really fucks me up. Yeah, it gets you good. Yeah, there's like fucking three shots of alcohol. <laughs> fruit punch in it. It's, yeah. it's, it's like a fruit It's rum and sugar. Like it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's Obviously, like, it's gonna fuck you up. Yeah, I'll see how today We'll goes. have a Bahama Mama. That's a no, by the way. That's like an aggressive no. You gonna go? Yeah. I'm gonna go play 10 then. All right. In a bit. See ya. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. All right, second try. 
Yeah. Straight yeah. to the tanker again? Straight to the tanker. Oh my God. Straight in the tanker. Not messing around, there's, there's satellites running here, there's one K running, he's like, nah, it's straight back. Buddy, as soon as I knew there were two buy-ins per day, I was like, That's I need it? to get to my there's, quota. And there's three flights? Well, yeah, you can register the first hours of day two as well. Oh, okay, so in theory you could do 60 Six. Cents. But I, I'm not, not going to do that. <laughs> I don't think. How about you? You'll be glad to know I have uh, 30 something big lines in the 1K main. Wow. Of four bullets. Uh, and we're like, I don't know, 100 from the money. Okay. And if I come top 15, I break even. Awful. <laughs> but it's like 80, 80 something K up top. So yeah. How do you I'm do it? Down, I'm a grinder. I'm grind. How do you do it? All right. You got vlogs the whole, whole time. I mean, you know, just the key moments, you probably won't make it. <laughs> this is all getting cut out. You'll never see them. You don't even subscribe to me on YouTube, you know that? Really? Did you know that? Did you check? When How would you know? Because when I'm... I can look in my dashboard where it says, like, big channels that subscribe to you or whatever. Yeah. And you're not in there. Are you, you're really grinding. Wow, what kind of... Uh... Yeah, because I'm looking for people to collab with, you know, and I see, like, big channels that follow me or whatever. And then no luck to other You see, this is what people this is what people don't know. People think, oh Sprague is just this chill UK guy. No, no, Meantime, no. he's in his dashboard checking. I'm a, I'm a big metrics guy, I'm a big <laughs> analytics guy. Lexa, it's not some non-subscribe. It's straight very straight. On to bullet number two. It's still the ten thousand dollar main event at the PCA. New table, new chances. It's four hundred, eight hundred already, and I have thirty K to play with. I got to my new table and it's really, really tough. There's only good players. I'm looking to my right, I see Jao Simao. To my left is Elliot Hudden, who just won 4 million. Two to my left. Across the table, I see Prebs, Beriusi, and Miss Oracle. Great. Nice second bullet. I get 10s in the hijack and I make it 1800. It falls to Prebs in the small blind and he calls. I would have loved to see a raise because 10s would be a great hand to go all in with for 40 big blinds, but it's fine. Beriusi calls in the big blinds. The flop comes jack 8 9 with one spade. Preps checks. Beriusi leads out 2200 in a pot of 6200, and I have no other move but call. I have to say, I'm a bit surprised he leads his flop as he doesn't have a distinct advantage. My hand is too good to fold though, and I don't really have any other move, so that's pretty easy. Preps folds, and we see a deuce of spades on the turn. This time, Beriusi leads 7600 into 10,000. My hand is pretty easy to play on the river, and the only hand I really do poorly against are straights and jack 10, and I block all of those, having pocket 10s. I'm a bit worried because it feels pretty strong. My hand could be good already though, and if not, it has great potential. Even versus two pairs, I have a lot of outs, especially versus 8-9. So I, like I said, my only move is a call, so we go to the river. The river is the five spades, completing the backdoor flush draw. Not great. There could have definitely been some bluffs that he has, like king, queen of spades, uh, that now complete a flush. He checks. Somewhere I do wonder if my hand would be an amazing bluff because I block, I block the straights and I block the backdoor flush, the most important ones with the ten of spades. I do think my hand beats enough random big blind holdings though, and I check back. Unfortunately, he shows jack nine off for a flop two pair. Not a great start at a tough table. Down to 25 big blinds right off the bat. What, what happened, man? <laughs> not my day. Some annoying hands today, second bullets. I felt like the first one was, I just wasn't even really playing in the sense that I just lost most of the hands, you know? Uh, now I just had a few frustrating hands. Um, yeah, I, I lost that big pot to Beriusi earlier, of course, uh, that I talked about. Um, then I just lost a really nice spot where I'm just, all, I feel like I'm always, always going to win. With a queen on the river, and he had a better hand. And then at the end, I just lost my last 13 big blinds with 9s versus 10s, so just GG. So short, short bullet, close to day two. Yeah, I don't know, a bit annoying, a bit of a frustrating day. I don't think I've been, so starting stack is 30k. I don't think I've been above like 32, so those aren't the best uh, days for two bullets, but it's whatever, we can try again tomorrow.